Hello everyone, it's History Bill. Guess what? I was in the woods and I hurt my leg. I was told that if I headed down this path that I'd find a doctor, but I'm about to find out that it isn't just any doctor, it's a surgeon from the year 1758. Maurice sir. Anderson, Fort Surgeon. Fort Surgeon. What year is this? You're 1758, of course. 1758. Oh, okay. Okay, that explains a couple of things. Um, but I appear to have hurt my leg. I, 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 I definitely twisted my ankle, and I just it's killing me. Um, I was talking to someone who said that you are a doctor. Yes. Well, I, I've, I've never seen a doctor's office quite like this before. All right. What kind of a doctor is this? I'm scared to ask about these things, but what's, the, what are these? Um, these are some of my medicinals. Me, oh, medicinal, medicine. Yes. These are your medicines. Some of my me medications here, um, um, herbals, chemical, uh, mostly uh, what I have in here are things to, uh, to empty your stomach and your bowels. My stomach? Yes. My bowels? Your bowels, sir. It's, it's, it's not my, it's not here, it's my leg, but. Well, they're all connected. They're all connected? Yes. So I need to empty my bowels? Could quite possibly be a course of action, and then of course the bleeding. The bleeding? Did he say bleeding? What on earth is he talking about? How come there's a hole in the mattress? Is there a is this a did a cannonball fall and hit this mattress? Uh, or? Certainly not. This is our convenience hole for the for the patients when they're taken to bed. Convenience hole. Oh great! A doctor's office with toilet holes in the beds. That's just what I wanted to see. Okay. Well. Uh, well, that, that, oh, that's, that's spectacular. Oh, nah, that, oh dear, the bucket needs changing. It does need changing. <laughs> it does need changing. Well, um, I don't think I need to be bled. Uh, I don't think I need to be bled. But, you know, I'm curious. Some of these things, I've never seen them. Flings, lances, scarificators. These are for your patients? Oh, absolutely. Um, um, what, what is this? Well, uh, that's bullet forceps. What Forcep are the soldiers? Forceps. Forceps to remove... Uh, Musket balls from wounds. Uh, oh. This is a military installation. Is this a doctor's office or a hardware store? If the bullet pierces your skin, and we'll say a musket ball is lodged deep in the wound, and we will try to fill for it uh -huh. within the wound. And once I've done that, I would then put great pressure against ah. the musket ball and begin to twist oh. the thumb screw. Ah. And what we hope to do is to Ooh. take the screw, penetrate the side of the ball, Ooh. screw it into the ball, and then remove the ball from the wound. Oh, that's gotta be painful. What would this be used for? Well, should you have some sort of a fluid-filled cyst deep in your skin, and where a normal uh, lance is, is not sufficient, I would simply insert this through the skin into the, to the uh, cyst itself, puncture it, remove the stylus, and let it drain through the cannula. Drain? Yes. What's this, sir? Uh, our tooth key. Are you suffering any problems no, with your teeth? No, no, teeth are fine. Teeth are fine. Teeth are fine, but I'm just curious. This is for yanking out the tooth. Well, not so much yanking. Pulling. Uh, well, we draw the tooth out. Draw the tooth. In the ah. center, and we just draw the tooth from its socket. Ah. So people just sort of sit here while you stick these things? Absolutely, with the help of a couple of surgeons, nice to hold them steady. You know, I'm... I may not be feeling as bad. I, th I think it's getting a little better. What, uh, okay, I'm, I'm just curious. What are all of these? Oh, this is my capital kit. The capital kit? Yes. Is it just me or does Dr. Death here seem to enjoy his job just a little too much? This is used to, uh, to take off an arm or a leg. An arm or a leg? Yes. Should your injury be such that uh, we require to remove it? Why is it curved? Well, the purpose of its curvature is to facilitate 
fewer slices to expose the bone. Be sure to pass the wood around. We have the sharpest blades in the surgery. Is it my imagination, or did he just brag about having the sharpest blades? Well, with our, you were complaining of a lower leg injury, quite possibly. Just slight. It's not that bad. We, we would require the larger blade. The larger blade. Um, this, this, uh, what's this for? I'm afraid well, to ask. Once I've exposed the bone with my curved blades, then it's to, time to take the saw the and saw. saw through the bone. To the bone. Absolutely. I do want to ask one other question. Um, this skull has been smiling at me. Um, okay, this is the question I really shouldn't have asked. Who, who is this uh, gentleman? Oh, uh, this was Corporal Hill. This was Corporal Hill. Yes, um, um, Corporal Hill, he's one of, he, he's, he's your first patient? Or oh, one no, of, no, 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 he's, he's one of many patients. Oh, okay, you, you don't keep any other patients. Oh, sir, <laughs> yeah, would you like to see them? No, out? no, in here! No, 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 sir, no, sir, I, 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 you know, and I'm feeling better. I'm feeling much better, and, and uh, thank you, sir. So.